Hi, welcome to the MuleSoft Architect course. In this video, we'll understand about the types of streaming available in Mule 4. Also, we'll consider one scenario with Mule 3. What is the difference between streamings in Mule 3 and Mule 4? So let's take an example. I have one flow. And in this flow, I have one connector. This connector basically is on new or update. update file so i will configure this connector with uh, one of the location from where it is fetching the file content of csv there's a csv file which is which will be fast so let's take an example this csv file is of 1 gb and whenever there's a file there's a new file inside this location this will fetch the data and install that data into an FIS that is file input stream. What this file input stream will do is this will fetch the data and store into one of the object FIS. As we know this uh, if you want to access or read the file in Java we use file input stream in a similar way in MuleSoft also this will read file input stream. Now let's take an example there's one more connector after this which is basically writing into another file. Let's say this is writing into file one dot csv. So what this file one, this connector will do, this will fetch the data from FIS and store into one file, file one dot csv. Let's take one more example and uh, let's take one more scenario in which I have two connectors. This connector is also writing into the file, let's say file two dot csv. So this connector is also trying to get the data from the FIS, but FIS can only read once. So this will get the empty record. So this file will be empty. And this file contains my the same data, whatever I have over here, one GB of data. So in Mule 3, in Mule 3, we'll use FIS and FIS can only read once. So we cannot simultaneously write writes into two files. Let's take one more example. So let's say in this scenario, I have one flow and in, inside this flow, I'll pretend. inside this flow, I have one same inbound connector, which is basically fetching file data on new or update. And what this will do is this will create one FIS object, which will stores the data. Now in Mule 3, let's say I'm trying to write into three different files simultaneously using the scatter gather. So scatter gather is component which is used to trigger three flows at once with different threads. So I have this write, this also I have one write component. This is also let's say I have a write component. Now what these three connectors will do, as I know I have FIS, so these three different threads will execute three different write operations. So let's say this thread tries to fetch the data from these FIS and uh, this thread got the data and write into a file. Now if this thread from the second connector trying to fetch the data from the same FIS, this connector will not get the data because FIS can only read once. So in similar way, this connector will also not be able to read the data. So these two connectors basically generate maybe empty file or this will not at all create a file. And in this scenario, we'll get the file. So if, if we want to write uh, simultaneously in different files, then in Mule 3, it's not possible. Now we'll take one scenarios from the Mule 4. So let's take one more example from Mule 4 side. So in Mule 4, we have something called repeatable streams. And there's one more type of stream that is non-repeatable stream.
So what is the basic difference between repeatable and non-repeatable string? So whatever I explained you now in mule 3, so this is nothing but a non-repeatable streams. Now we'll understand about the repeatable streams. Repeatable streams are basically of two types. One is in memory and the second one is file store. Let's take one example. So I have this flow. Inside this I have one connector on new or update file. What this connector will do, this will fetch the file from one of the location. And let's say this is my CSV file of 1 GB. What this will do, this will store the data inside the object called FIS file input stream. Now in repeatable stream, what this will do is, this will wrap up this FIS with one of the object called stream. This is the similar object we use in reactive programming or non-blocking IO. Now how this stream will implement? So this stream is nothing but uh, this will create one object called buffer. And if you are using in-memory stream, this will be in-memory buffer. So whenever any connector or let's say this is a write operation, is trying to fetch the data from the FIS. So what this will do, this will fetch from the streams. Streams will call the FIS and basically FIS store data inside the buffer. And from buffer, this will fetch the data. So whenever we are defining any buffer, we need to define the initial size of the buffer. Initial size. So initial size, let's say I define as 500. KB and uh, once it reaches the 500 KB we need to also define the incremental size size so this size let's say I have defined 100 KB so let's take an example I got a file and store the 500 KB and again this will go if 500 KB is full fully occupied then this will go and increase by 100 KB. So now my buffer will be of 600 KB. Also, we need to define the max size. Let's say I have defined this as 1000 KB. So what this will do, this will try to fetch the data from the file and uh, it increases every, if the, if the buffer is full, this will increase by 100 KB and until it reaches to 1000 KB. If the file is bigger than 1000 KB, this process will fail. So this is mainly used when if you are trying to fetch a small file and you know the size of the file. If you don't know the size of the file and or your file is big, let's say 1 GB or 2 GB, you should not use the in-memory repeatable stream. Instead of that, you can use the file store repeatable stream. Now we'll understand what is file store repeatable stream. In file store repeatable stream, you need to define the buffer size. So this buffer size you need to define, let's say you have defined as 500 KB. So this 500 KB, basically what this buffer system, buffer object will do, after reading 500 KB, this will store the data inside the temporary file into the file store that is why we call this file store repeatable stream so this buffer will basically store into one of the in temporary file inside the system with the data so from the next time let's say there's one more op there's one more connector which is writing to the file to different file so what this will do once this will trying to fetch the data from the stream what stream will do stream will fetch the data from the temporary file location and give it to the writer so in this way basically we can implement the repeatable stream file store so that if there's one more file which 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 i want to write the data so what this will do this will same fetch the file from the stream and file stream will fetch the read the file from the 
temporary and it will always read from the start not from the end or in the middle this is why it is called repeatable streams so now let's say you have scenario in which you want to read only once the file then you should not configure your streaming as repeatable stream you should configure that as a non repeatable stream because there is a overhead if you want to use in memory also you need to define these three things and there will be an internal consumption of the memory also so so you need to carefully choose if you want to use repeatable stream non repeatable stream or repeatable stream according to your scenario even if we have a scenario similar scenario in which i have one scatter gather and i have three input output files which on which i am writing what this scatter gather will do this will create a copy of the mule message and send it separately to each of the connector or the flow and each flow will basically fetch the data from the stream object and this stream object basically send data to the to write the scenario so if we have scenario in which we want to reuse the stream then we will use repeatable stream if we don't want to use again or i want to read only once then we will use non repeatable stream now we'll go through the any point studio and we'll see the practicals of this so i have this scenario in which i have one on new update and here i have one flow reference and i have a scatter gather and i have two write operation in which i am writing the data for now i will delete this so i have two operations in which i am writing the two different file so i will show you few stuff so here i have one file config one inside this i am writing file1.csv this is write second write which is in the same configuration same location but the file name is file2.csv and in on new or update i am using another file config and i am fetching the file data from one of the location now if you want to provide the configuration for repeatable or non repeatable stream you need to go to the advanced and here you can find the streaming strategies so by default a repeatable file store stream if let's say if you have only one time you want to use this so you will use non repeatable stream also there is repeatable in memory stream so we will select this repeatable in memory stream as we know we need to find the initial buffer size that will be in it can be in kb byte gb or mb let's say it's in kb by default and we need to give the incremental buffer size so if this size is full then this will increment by this value and max size i need to define so let's say this is my 512 mb every time i want to increase by 128 kb sorry and then at last 1024 kb so i can define like this repeatable in memory stream and in case of the repeatable file store i just need to define the buffer size in memory buffer size sorry buffer size and then i have one non repeatable stream which will not repeat it so let's take an example i'll save this and i will show you inside so i have one stream folder inside this i have input we have input.csv which is of 4 mb file and one output file which is which output folder which is empty right now i will execute this and i will show you the result i will pause this video once it successfully deploy i will start this so this is successfully deployed now i'll check this on in on and up new or update i had defined this as non repeatable stream now i will just control remove the file from here and again paste it so this file is picked up from the on update or a new i will press f6 now i am on flow reference i will press f6 now i got the exception scatter gather why i got this exception because 
I have configured this on update or new as a non repeatable stream. We'll go to advanced, we'll see non repeatable stream. And here, what we are doing, we are using scatter gather and we'll, we are trying to write into two files, two different files with a single stream object, which is not possible because it is non repeatable stream. That's why we got the exception. So I will press F8 for now to come out of this exception. Now, if we'll go to this location output, we'll say empty right now. Now, what we'll do, we'll change this on new update to the repeatable stream file store. Now, I'll save this. Now again, I will go to input, I will delete this file and copy this and again paste it inside this. I'll stop this and again redeploy. Now I have configured this on new or update as a repeatable stream file store and I have defined the buffer size as 512 MB and inside this I have paste one file input inside input and I should get two output files inside this folder. So once it's successfully deployed, we'll check. So this is successfully deployed on local. I will go and delete this file and add the same file again this should pick up my file from the location so we got the file over here now I have press F6 this will go to the scatter gather and I will press F8 now this is successfully completed now we'll go to the output now we'll get two files. So these both are the 4MB file which we got it from the input file. So in this way, we can implement the streaming strategies inside Mule 4 according to our need. Hope you understand this stuff. And uh, that's it for this video. See you next video. Thank you.